like uh, I don't think we have enough say in what goes on here. There's no like there's not I don't think there's enough after school activities, enough like options for the kids to get actually, you know, I don't know, proud of going here that much. I mean we're not really on the map. And then we we share the school with another school, which is also another uh factor that isn't really desirable, I guess you'd say. Mm. I mean that just the point that like we don't have many things here, like other schools. It's an okay school, but it could like it could like add more. I'm not a fan of Parkway Center City, but you know I'm just here. I deal with what I got to deal with. Um, the spirit's kind of dead around here. It's like it's not as lively as my other schools. My impression of Parkway. I'm glad it's finally over. drama program was something for kids to get excited about, for kids to promote, uh, for kids to tell their friends about, hey, I'm in this play, you should come see it. And kids who had never seen a play or worked on a play got the experience. And so after the show, uh, you know, the next year, the last year we did it, I had freshmen come to me and say, hey, I, you know, I heard you got a great drama program at Parkway. That's part of the reason why I came. And I think that really helps kind of taking Parkway Center City High School or any high school and really... Uh, kind of instilling a sense of community and a sense of this is a project in which we come together to complete uh, and where every single hand in it makes a huge difference. You know, you have kids that maybe weren't actors working on the set that could point it out on the night of the show and say, hey, I painted that or I designed that or that costume, I tailored that. So you have a lot of kids that really felt uh, a connection not only to the, pro to the program and the project but the, the school as a whole. Acting has become a huge part of what I do now. This is mainly one of the best uh, and only extracurriculars that Parkway has to give. And like we need to keep it going strong actually. It's like you can come in here, you could be you could be somebody you're not and you can have fun while you're doing it. Drama is different for me. Like I never did drama before. So I thought this would be a unique experience to try something different. Last year's play just watching that, it was it was really good. And you know, I'm like, I wanna go up there, I wanna perform in front of a lot of people, you know, show them what I have and what I could do. Cause it's one of the things I really love to do. Then last year I figured it was a great way to get to know people and I liked it and all the people that was around me. So I decided to do it again this year. It actually, op it opens people up. It lets others see who you really are, like who you truly are. Cause if this drama club wasn't here, uh, this school will be so dry and boring. In high school, there are, there are a couple things that you need to make for a very successful high school. You need good teachers, you need good friends, you need good lunch, and you need, <laughs> you need extracurricular activities. Drama Club brings two of those, and that's like, it brings the extracurricular activities, and it also brings good friends. And obviously, there's a reason I keep coming back to drama. It's almost getting away from a stressful school while still in school. I looked over last year's and the years before that play and I absolutely loved the actors and I loved the way that you projected yourselves and the whole play was amazing so I thought, hey, maybe I could do that. Bad to say it, but we do need it a lot. You should donate to us because this is a good program and we could be out doing something other than this. We could be out playing basketball, but we choose to do the drama program, something for our school since we don't have that much. To I mean, without it, we really can't have some of the props and you know the makeup and things like that that we need for the play. And um, it's for a good cause, you know, where students are working hard, finding something to do with our time. Like everybody else says, we, like, we're really small and we, like, we need it. And it's like, 
we really want to do this. And it's like, we love performing and everything in front of uh, like a big audience. And we want to have people around us to enjoy what we're doing. It's a good cause and we just want to perform for you and show you how good we are. We're pretty passionate about this. I'd, I'd, I'd like to think, I mean, we're not just here because it's something to do. I mean, we have to stay here, depending on what place you're in. I mean, you have to stay here after school till like, maybe like 5.30, which is kind of late then. It's for the students, you know. And we studied our lines really hard, and you know, we're gonna put an effort. We're not gonna let your money be put to waste. You know, we're gonna try our best, and we're gonna give it our all. So many people worked hard for this, and I, I would really hate it to just see it all thrown away. I mean, everyone's anticipating this play, and like, without money, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, I play Clyde, and apparently, and Clyde, he's basically, um, he basically describes me. Oh my gosh, Daddy! You have to get me that. I love that. The truth is, bro, I really didn't like you. I just wanted you for your money. I thought you were rich, but you're poor now, so I'm just gonna go for the other girl. Annie, who is a young troubled lady, and she's pregnant. Uh, most people like me to do it, but I really don't like it, but I, I also like to do it for the fun, but... My character in one of the plays is uh, Chip, and he's more like a, a sleazy type guy who's trying to hit on somebody's girlfriend. You know, he's one of those guys that you just you really hate because he's always the one to hit on your girl. Then your health class covered the SEX hook. Weren't you listening? One of mine is Gretchen, which is in I Don't Mind That You're Ugly. It's a waitress who doesn't like her job. I play Alexandra in I Don't Mind That You're Ugly. I actually like that character because it kind of, she's like me. She can snap, but then at the same time, it seems like she can be a nice person. So yeah, she's nice and she has like a bubbly personality and she's funny too. Uh, I'm Henry Neal, and uh, tell me what you want me to support, and I will support it if you vote for me. Uh, yes, so for the 2012 election, vote President Henry Neal. I play Jane and the story of how to get a girl. She's just an optimistic person, and she's like she's smart and she's rich. I'm playing um, Clyde, and he's basically trying to propose to his girlfriend or whatnot, but the whole thing is that he's not that attractive. I'm like Gretchen. I'm a lazy person. In temporary insanity, I am playing Miss Thompson, the sex ed teacher, and I want to teach the kids that you need to have, it. you don't need to be having sex at the young age, and if you do, you need to be safe. And thank you so much for donating to us. It means a lot. Thank you for donating money to our program, and we hope you come to our show. We really enjoy it, and we hope you enjoy our show. Thank you for donating to our play, please. Thank you for donating, because um, without you, like, this really wouldn't go anywhere. And I just want to, I'd be even more honored if you guys actually came to see the play to see that, you know, we actually did put our hard work in and everything. You're really helping us. Without you, there wouldn't be us. Thank you everyone for donating to us and we promise you will give you an excellent play. I woke last night to the sound of thunder. How far off I sat and wondered. Started humming a song from 1962. And a funny how the night moved.